Welcome back. We're here at uh, Goshen Center for Cancer Care. We want to talk to Dr. Keo about uh, his particular specialty, which is, uh, it feels like, again, just based on my limited knowledge, you're kind of the, maybe the pilot of the ship uh, in many cases? Well, um, yes. Uh, we help to coordinate cancer care uh, across specialties by, being, uh, by virtue of being a medical oncologist. And uh, it's usually a collaborative effort for most cancer types where you bring together the surgical oncologist, the one who does the surgery, uh, the radiation oncologist, and of course the medical oncologist uh, when I'm involved in their care. So medical oncology, does that mean you specialize in something or does that mean you generalize in cancer? Well, it's, it's both. Uh, what's unique about um, our community practice is that you have the capability to be highly specialized in a particular sphere of medical oncology. Of course, there's several different kinds of cancers and uh, we realize you can be an expert in all. You can be good at everything, but not an expert in all. So. Uh, we try to ensure that if you, for example, want to concentrate on lung cancer, you have the ability to do that mm -hmm. while being able to take care of a wide variety of cancers. Uh, we are a community practice and we really cannot afford as part of our community service to just take one particular cancer and leave everyone else out of the care that we provide. Uh, another thing that you'll notice uh, when you come to Goshen, especially for a second opinion, is how instantly uh, you guys want to treat the patient and not the cancer. Explain what that means to people that haven't heard that before. Well, you know, uh, cancer is a really uh, a tragic diagnosis, not just for the patient who's involved, but for the family. And everyone else can do chemotherapy. Everybody can put together the regimens, uh, but you we can afford to do it in a setting that allows us to take care of the emotional components, not just the physical and the disease itself. And so it's, an whole, it's a whole round experience, body, mind, spirit, we, we take care of that. And we also entertain other interventions that typically may not be uh, uh, considered what you see in a cancer center. For example, uh, exercise regimens, we able to use natural things that we've been found to be very helpful for patients. Something like ginger can mm -hmm. be used by patients who have adverse effects to other uh, mainstream medications to stop nausea, to help stop their nausea. Uh, the other thing that we also help do is provide care through clinical trials. We're focused on that to bring the best and uh, the new medications to the uh, grasp of the patient so they can benefit from new interventions, not wait for years until those become available. So uh, if somebody uh, wants to learn the difference about uh, how you guys collaborate uh, and see that for themselves, uh, it often just starts with a, a phone call or a visit to, their, to your webpage, uh, and then what happens? We have so many avenues to access our care. Uh, we have a web page that uh, is easily accessed, a telephone call to the cancer center. We have specialists and navigators who can help through uh, the process of getting uh, uh, patients and family members to be able to get to see a specialist. We do understand that navigating the healthcare system can be a daunting task for many. Yeah. You guys really pioneered this collaborative approach. You've been doing this for a really long time. Uh, obviously, you see great benefits to the patients. Yes. And uh, we not only see great benefits to the patient, we also see benefits to the community at large and neighboring communities. Like I said um, previously in our discussion, having to travel um, three hours to Chicago, deal with commute and transportation. You don't have here that here. It's a straight drive to Goshen. You're with your family members. We can deal with the side effects while you're here. Uh, so there's so many advantages to having that kind of practice uh, here in Goshen to serve uh, Michigan and Northern Indiana. So we're very proud of what we have and we've been doing this for years. If you want to find out more, especially if cancer has entered into uh, your vocabulary suddenly, uh, get a second opinion at Goshen Center for Cancer Care. Learn more online at livestouched.com and we will be right back on Insight.